Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about why we should all be considering putting subscriptions in our apps. All right, so today I want to answer a question that came in a couple of days ago from Tony Mayo. Tony says, if you had to invest in apps to make them bigger and more profitable, would you do it on the Androids or iOS? Good question and a very easy one to answer. If I could only invest in one of them, iOS hands down. I know a lot of you guys out there are Android developers and you don't want to touch iOS, but I honestly think you're leaving a lot of money on the table. In my experience over the years, iOS users just spend more money on applications. They just do, right? You do have a, if you're going for, ad, actually, let me rephrase that. If you're only doing advertising, then Android, you're gonna get a lot more downloads, you're gonna get a lot more impressions, but your, your RPMs are still gonna be higher in the States. So if I was gonna do it again, and I am gonna do it again, I need to get, you know, invest in some more applications, I would do it, if I only do one, I would do iOS, but I would do it cross-platform, and I would make sure it's subscription-based. Now, last month, App Annie came out with their 2020 State of Mobile report. It's really good. Uh, I'll include a link for it in the description if you haven't read it yet. If you're in any doubt about whether or not you should be starting an, an app in 2020, read the report. It's really good about mobile spend. Everything is going up. But there's a really good graph in that report. And one, we should do a video where we just talk about the whole report. But for this video, I just want to talk about this one graph here which is about in-app subscriptions contributing to 96% of spend in non-gaming applications. So in the past, I've done mostly non-managed or non-consumable uh, in-app purchases. So you make a one-off one purchase and you can restore that purchase and you can reinstate your game. So you get, you know, we've got quite a bit of revenue that way, but it wasn't subscription-based and it didn't tick on. So have a look at this graph here. Here you can see 96% of spend in top non-app gaming, uh, non-app games, non-gaming apps in 2019 were on were subscription based. And here you can see the breakdown of Google Play versus iOS. And just on this graph in, in general, you can see how much is being spent on Google Play in terms of in-app purchases and subscriptions. Uh, and you can see how much was spent on iOS. So, and, and this is on the top 250 applications on the App Store, which makes me think, why have I, why, I'm, I just been dragging my feet on subscriptions. Like, and this is one of the things I will tell you straight out. I've never put subscriptions in my applications and I always say, I really want to do that one day. And now I'm thinking, I really need to get on it. Now, I was, I, I, the reason I did this, first of all, I wanted to share it with you. First of all, for these guys who are only doing Android apps, I totally get it. iOS can be a pain uh, through the approval process. You have to get a Mac, you have to renew that license every single year, and you might not think that it's worth it, but I think, I think you're leaving money on the table, especially if you can find like Mac and Cloud or something, or somehow, if you're doing a cross-platform framework, try to get that to work if you can. The same, I say the same thing to iOS users, by the way, iOS developers who are like, you know, in the early days when I started in apps, they're like, nah, you know, I don't put anything on Android because that doesn't make any money. But it's like, it's not, it's not true. You're just leaving money on the table. Uh, the second thing that I just wanted to share with you guys this report because I think it's fascinating. Uh, so let me know what you guys, first of all, let me know, are, is anybody out there using subscriptions who watches the channel? If you, if you don't mind, you want to tell us how you're doing in the comments, I'd really like to hear that. And for those of you guys who are only doing Android, tell us some of the reasons why you don't want to do iOS. Because I, I'm guessing that it's because, I mean, it's a pain. You have to get a Mac. You have to go through the approval process. It's complicated. But is there any reason that, that you're just thinking, like, it's not even worth it? Um, anyway, or is it because Android has 80% market share globally, but in the U.S. and the U.K., it's about 50-50. So what are your reasons? And, um, and also, I'll include a link to this report in the, in the description because it's fascinating. Highly encourage you guys download it and have a look at it. And that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. <laughs>